welcome back to my channel. Thirsty already. Okay, so in today's video, I'm gonna be going over why I got shoulder surgery. Yeah, I'm 15. I know, I've already had shoulder surgery. Yeah. And I did do a poll on Instagram, and a lot of you guys wanted to see that video, so here it is. So let's go back couple years and a couple months so, when did this all start when i was 12 i started having these like shoulder pains we didn't know what it was so i went to go see a physical therapist and they basically took a look at it and they said i was super mobile like lax basically i think that's the word I was just weak in general and I had winging scapula. I'll put like the definition here of like winging scapula. That's what they thought I have. A couple months into physical therapy, I started going like twice a week. Then they found this thing where my shoulder could pop out of place. Every time I'd raise it above my head so like this, it would like pop out. Anteriorly, anteriorly above, whatever. Anteriorly, I can't say it. Anteriorly. It would pop out, basically. And it would go back in when I put my arm back down. But there was times when it was a struggle to get it back in. And let me tell you, this was extremely painful. It was super painful every time it happened. And any time I'd raise my arm above my head, it would just pop out of place so I was in physical therapy for a couple of months and they told me to take some time off of a swim so I took the entire summer off uh, of swim and in the meantime I was just doing physical therapy rehab 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 that was it and me being 12 years old, not thinking it's like that serious, I would not take physical therapy that seriously. I would literally take it as a joke. I'm not joking, you guys. Um, I would never do my exercise. I would just go and like, literally, like it was useless to be honest because I didn't care because I didn't think it was that big of a deal that I wasn't doing it. And so a couple months go by, I stopped going to physical therapy and I went to go see our swim team doctor. I worked with her for a bit and it didn't get better. It would still pop out of place. Um, so fast forward uh, when I was 13 and 14. That like last year basically. Um, I was still having problems with my shoulder. I wasn't going to rehab. I was just doing home exercises because there is no point because it was not helping at all. So with that, I was barely swimming. I was kicking most of practice. I could only do freestyle and breaststroke were like the only strokes I could do, being in the least amount of pain. And so fast forward to recently this year, I started having all these pains again and it was popping out way more frequently oh let me just mention it was my left shoulder yeah so it was happening more recently this was my freshman year so like only a couple months ago and I made it on to the varsity swim team but I was having these problems where my shoulder was in so much pain I like couldn't swim I just was not able to swim so it was back and forth with my parents and our athletic trainer that we have I was working with her every day after school not being able to practice with the team sucked even though our uh, season did get cut short because of the coronavirus at the same time it was an, an advantage for me because we didn't compete that much we competed at two swim meets so it was okay that I missed, I missed it basically, but I was working really hard uh, day in, day out with our athletic trainer and then she referred me to go see um, an orthopedic surgeon. 
and I went to go see him and he wanted to do a MRA magnetic imaging Arthur I don't know basically where they do an MRI of my shoulder but they inject dye into it oh my Sorry guys, this is probably like really really confusing, it doesn't make any sense, but I'm trying my hardest. It's been a long, long, long road with this. I get my MRI, and worth thinking, worst thing is, I'm gonna have to get surgery because it's a labrum tear. Basically like, it's like torn somewhere in the shoulder, I don't know like the specific terms and everything. But, that's what we thought, we thought it was a labrum tear, but... MRI came back, uh, the doctor went over it and he said there was nothing wrong. My shoulder capsule, like here's like the capsule thing and like here's my shoulder socket. Basically this was just like super big and that's basically all it was. So he basically said there's two options. Either I just leave it and be in pain 24 seven or I go to physical therapy. So we decided to go down the route again with uh, physical therapy. I went for six weeks, twice a week, every day, worked super hard, want, did not want to have to surgery. Surgery was our honestly last option that we wanted to go down because one, surgery is super expensive and I'm only 15 years old. So I went to physical therapy for six, uh, six weeks and no improvements. Once physical therapy didn't really help, we went back and saw the doctor six weeks later and he's like, okay, your only other option is to get surgery. So we thought about it and we thought about it and we decided uh, we were going to go down the surgery path because just nothing was helping. I went back to physical therapy for I think a couple more weeks. And so we finally decided, okay, we're gonna stick on it. We're gonna get the surgery done. So this was May uh, 26th this year. I got the surgery, which is only about like three months ago. And between the time of me talking to the doctor and my surgery day, I was going to physical therapy every week, twice a week. And that's what we stuck with up until surgery day. And the surgery I got done, I got, uh, arthroscopic surgery where they basically tighten my shoulder capsule and so come surgery day uh, May 26 my surgery was at 9 a.m. I'm pretty sure I'd get there by 8 I was super nervous but at the same time I wasn't and it comes the morning of surgery I will put a video up here of what my shoulder would do basically this is the video of my shoulder just popping out and this is the last time I was going to be raise my arm above my head with it popping out and do my last swim stroke with it popping out basically. To me, I thought it was so cool. It was like the, my coolest trick ever that I could show people when everyone was like freaked out by it, but I thought it was super cool. My mom thought it was disgusting when I had a shower, but I thought it was cool. I get my surgery. It was a two and a half hour surgery, I'm pretty sure. So here's a picture of me before surgery. And here's the picture of me after surgery. This is the sling I was in for four weeks, I'm pretty sure. This is sat like this and like this was over. And my arm was like this. And that was why I basically got surgery. And I've now like three months post-op. I almost have like full range of motion. I will post some pictures up. Uh, here basically of me just trying to raise my arm above my head and get to the point where I have full range of motion So there are just pictures that I have taken post-op from my surgery and I've come a very 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 long way now From having my shoulder pop out to basically tightening the capsule to where like it doesn't do that. So it's stiff like it feels stiff, but what they're trying to do what they're trying to do is tighten it so it wouldn't pop out but then after surgery you get like that surgery tightness and everything um that's basically what i was feeling and stuff <clears throat> but the recovery process has not been that bad recovery process after surgery wasn't in that much pain i mean like i was in pain like 
48 to 72 hours after surgery, but I was on um, painkillers for the first three, four days of it, and then I was off of them. I wanted to be off of them, like, um, as soon as I could because the things I was on were, you could get addicted to them if you took it too often. So basically, I same day after surgery, I wasn't in any pain because I did have a nerve block. So basically, it like numbed out all the pain for me. And I was also in a sling and I couldn't sleep in my bed yet. I had to sleep like sitting up basically. So I was sleeping on the couch for like the first week or so. And this was like my last week of school. I got it too. That was going really well. It was a bit painful. I'm not going to lie. Trying to get full range of motion back into my shoulder. That part was hard. But since now you guys know, I'm three months post-op. I'm excited to say I just got cleared to start swimming again slowly. So I'm super excited about that and I can't wait to get back into the... So basically, I'm going to be working with my athletic trainer at our pool. Just starting to slowly get back into the motion of swimming again. Um, and like I've been doing strengthening things now because I basically have full range of motion. And the only one I got to work on is external rotation because I'm like almost there. Um, so I'm actually doing really, really well. Three months post-op super happy with the surgery and uh, my surgeon was amazing so shout out to him and shout out to my athletic trainer that's been helping me through all of this it's been a long 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 time not being able to swim because of like the coronavirus going on too so i haven't swam since february so that's like a good six months now of not being able to swim and i haven't been in the pool since march i was able to be in the pool and stuff and at practice because i would i was just kicking and that's all i could do basically or i was doing dry land which just land exercise instead of swimming but i was still with the team and stuff if you guys are following me on my instagram i post daily updates on there on how my shoulder is doing it so make sure you're following me on there to see more like range of motion stuff but that's basically why i got shoulder surgery because a lot of you guys were wondering if you guys want me to do a video on like the types of rehab exercises i have to do um i'm gonna put a poll up it should be this side or this side one of them i'll put a poll up on if you guys want to see me do a video on uh my rehab exercises i have to do and with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.